Good morning guys another beautiful day here in eastern north carolina and i'm gonna make the most of it We've got a pile of beautiful mud crabs let's see if anything's biting Side's looking good. Everything's flowing this way. We're gonna catch a fish right here. Nice little sheep's head. I like that orange jawbreaker. That's the sand flea. Pretty fish. That is a keeper. Fifteen and three quarters, seventeen and a half total length. Put him in the box. Guys, I've been having fun with this combo. It's a Cabo 50 with the star jigging rod got this thing spool with 30 pound braid 50 pound fluorocarbon leader It's been pretty slow. There's a few down there. Check out this guy. Missed on a little stripe. Cool. Tide's dropping out now. It's slowed down to a crawl. I'm gonna go ahead and make a move. There he is. 
Spanish. The Spanish are tearing up them thread pin herrings back there. Thirteen and a quarter. In a minute. Let's see if we can pull one more fish before we get out of here. One more decent fish. Seven inches, 12 and a quarter total. All right, I'm keeping that one. Been slow today. size to them. this school of pinfish. What? Gotcha. Wow. Right in the lip. Eighteen and a quarter. 20 and a quarter total. Pretty fish. All right. to 
just moved right over here just out of those pinfish they're right on the edge of that brown water and it's shallow right here can't be more than eight feet deep hey guys uh it's only the second time i've ever been to this spot but it has promise caught fish both times i've been here uh, we did have that low tide in the middle of the day it was kind of slow but uh, i was worth waiting for the the incoming here to catch that nice sheep's head really proud of that tandem jawbreaker rig that i'm using i caught one of those nice sheep's head on the jawbreaker caught the other one on the stinger hook so guys check out that rig i made another video on how to tie that rig i'm going to link that in the description hope you enjoyed watching we'll see you next time